Well, hey, 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 it's Scott, the Pedal Guy here. How you doing? It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for questions and answers. We're going to get started right now. Well, hey, it's Scott, the Pedal Guy. I hope you're having a great week. Hope you're going to have a great weekend. Uh, this is our weekly show where I take your questions and try to answer them to the best of my ability. As you can see, we are not in the studio today uh, because after yesterday's Trio Plus session, I am pooped. So I decided to move it down to the kitchen and you can hear very softly in the background, we have rain here in California, which hardly ever happens in Los Angeles, but uh, here we are. And in any case, uh, so let's get, just go ahead and get to it. We didn't have that many questions this week, but uh, we got a couple of funny ones here to share with you as well. So the first question we got comes from John Laporto, and it's in regard to the Strum and the Trio Plus. John writes, have you thought about doing a video about syncing these up via JamSync? Or is it even worth it? And I love your YouTube channel. Well, John, thank you very much for the kind words on our channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. Uh, in answer to your question, the simple answer is, unfortunately, the Trio Plus does not have a jam sync out. The Trio, the little Trio, did have a jam sync out. The Trio Plus does not, unfortunately. So there's no way to make the jam sync work there. I did do a video where I took the Strum and I synced it up via jam sync to the uh, Jamman Express XT, but that's because they both have jam sync. Uh, I.O. is built in. Unfortunately though, with the Trio Plus, it's just not possible. So, sorry. Our next question comes to us from a viewer who sent in a comment in regard to the recent uh, Trio Plus video I did. Uh, and simply, uh, the request was in Espanol. And thank you very much for the suggestion. Nothing would make me happier than to be able to produce these in Spanish because I know that there is a valid uh, need for that, um, as well as other languages too. Uh, unfortunately, I, I forgot all of my Spanish from high school, so I am a little boned for that. Uh, but that's definitely something down the road that we could consider once uh, we really get the YouTube channel going. It might be worth it to try to come up with some Spanish versions of these uh, of these videos, because I definitely know there's a value in that, and there's certainly a value in doing that, and in French as well, and. Italian um, and maybe uh, Japanese as well. But uh, in any case, thank you very much for the suggestion. And when we get to that point, believe me, it will be at the top of mind. Our next question comes to us from Jeff Hammer, and it's in regard to the video I did on the more spark distortion pedal. Jeff writes, great sounding pedal at $30, not so great sounding at $64. Well, Jeff, thank you very much for your observation. Um, we're selling the pedal for $30. I'm not selling it for $64. Bucks. Uh, I still think at $64, it's a heck of a distortion, but I do agree that there probably are other alternatives that you could certainly look at at that price point. But for $30, bucks, you would be hard-pressed to find something that sounds that good. And we only have a finite amount of those left. We've been selling them since the holiday season, but we do have them in stock still, and we are selling them. And we are shipping them across the country. So if you're interested, We'll put a link in the video description and uh, just let us know if you'd like to pick one up. Our next comment comes to us from Louis the Fly, and it's in regard to the Engel Straight to Hell distortion pedal. I saw a Thai demo of the Rockboard Mod 5 using this pedal as a preamp, and it sounded way better than this demo. Well, Louis, thank you very much for your feedback. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to own this one. Um, you know, when I did this this demo, this was over over two years ago now, this is probably like, oh, probably three years ago now at this point. And if you're a regular uploader to YouTube, there are always going to be those videos that are absolute cringeworthy. And do I think this is the worst video in the world? No, not really. But do I think it's the best example of the pedal? No, not really. But am I still proud of it? Yes, of course, because I did it. I put that pedal up, I put that video up there. There's thousands of views on it. And yeah, there are a lot of people that don't like it. And I, I'll admit, I'm not a fast player. I haven't been one since I was a teenager. So the, the video was more or less a, an experimentation because I was still working with the format of whether I was going to go for a long video or short videos. Originally, I wanted to make pedal guy videos that were only about three minutes long and just keep it at that. And unfortunately, um, that's one of the victims of, of, of that decision. I think I even got the VS, by the way, stands for Victor Smolsky. I think I even got a, a, a nasty, if I remember correctly, I got a nasty comment from him about it. He was not very happy with how I presented the pedal. 
And I think somebody even wrote um, that Engel should issue a cease and desist letter against me for, for doing these videos um, so that I never do another guitar video again for their pedals or their products. So, uh, you know, I put it there mainly as a badge of honor because people are still watching the video even though it's an out-of-date product. It, it's no longer made anymore. We're now out of stock on the, on the, the, uh, the Reaper and the uh, Straight to Hell. But, you know, I think the best thing you can do as an artist is simply embrace it and know that there are going to be videos that you're going to make that people are going to like and people are not going to like. And uh, I absolutely get it. And by the way, Louie, I watched some of your videos and, and you're a really great player, man. So, you know, thanks for the comment. I appreciate it. Well, a final comment comes to us from Booze for Blues and it's in regard to the Digitech uh, Whammy Ricochet pedal video that I did a couple of years ago. And Booze for Blues writes, well, you've done a really great job of keeping my money in my pocket. Well, here's my response. Well, Booze for Blues, I'm honestly sorry that you didn't like the video um, or the pedal. I'm not sure what you really meant by the comment, but I found it kind of funny, frankly. And, uh, you know, these, uh, these comments I get from time to time are my badges of honor because at least I know that people are watching the videos uh, and the fact is people are still watching that video a couple years after it came out we've sold a lot of the uh, ricochets in fact so it's uh, it's always been kind of a, a favorite pedal of mine frankly I think all the whammies for for all intents and purposes are a lot of fun to use uh, some more than others and I thought the ricochet was actually a pretty cool pedal uh, but nevertheless, if you didn't like it, I'm sorry you didn't like it, and uh, you know enough said about that. Um, but you know this is a good place for us to wrap it up for this week. And so, yeah, I've been talking about the coronavirus thing for the last couple of weeks, and talking about being kind and all of that. But you know, one thing that I think that I can impart to you as a viewer, and I, I get responses from people, and, and and it just touches me to to get those kind of responses that people send in. And thank you so much. Um, do something to make yourself feel good this week. Do something good. Do something that makes you feel good. Know that there is good out there for you, uh, and it will be a part of your life if you want it to be a part of your life. Uh, and that means sometimes taking the good with the bad, like this booze for blues guy. Um, I don't let comments like that bother me because, first of all, I do multiple videos a week. So if I let the things like that bother me, I wouldn't do any more videos. But um, I actually laugh it off. It doesn't bother me. And I, I continue to do more videos. So I'm um, very, uh, very happy with the results that we've gotten here at the Pedal Guy. And I take the good out of that. And the good is this. It's quite simple. When you go to a Reverb channel uh, or, or a Reverb store or eBay store um, or a direct business, people just have nothing but nice things to say about me and the pedal guy and what I do and I'm more than happy to accept that kindness and it, it, it really does make me feel good about myself and valid, validated about what I'm doing. There's a ton of places that people can shop for these products online uh, and they choose to come back to the pedal guy time and time again. I have a lot of repeat business now and I am so grateful and so honored that you have uh, spent your money and your time with me. Um, and that you consider a lot of my uh, advice when, you, when in, you're asking for it. And, um, you know, I mean, that's, that's honestly the best compliment that somebody can get. So when I get comments like this guy, uh, it just goes right over my head. It doesn't bother me. But, you know, this week, challenge yourself to do something to make you feel good about yourself. Right now, I think, yes, you do need to feel, you, need, you do need to look out for your fellow person, but you really do need to look good for your, you need to do something good for yourself too. So buy an album, buy a, you know, buy an album, make a piece of art, make a piece of music, read a book, uh, watch a movie that you've been meaning to watch. There's a million things you can do uh, to make you, make you feel good about yourself. Um, make yourself a special dinner maybe, or a special breakfast or something. I cook in the house all the time. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, you'll feel better about yourself, I think, and you'll have a better, a better week as a result. We, we all don't like being indoors right now, I know that. Uh, we're all stuck here. I, well, we're stuck in here right now also because we have rain outside. But nevertheless, it's, it, it's important to, to, to remember to be kind to yourself and, and do something good for yourself to make yourself feel good. 
because that's what's going to help you get through all of this fun stuff. So in any case, that's my two cents in, in philosophy, if you will. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for more information on the pedals that we've talked about today and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.